Hello, today I show you the installation of Drupal 8 on Ubuntu 14. Before we can do that, we must install Apache, PHP, PHP MyAdmin and MySQL. First we start a terminal session and become root sudo su minus and the password apt get install apache2 Now we are going to test with a web browser if it's correctly installed. And a local host. And yes, it works. Apt and get install PHP 5 lib Apache 2 mod and PHP 5 Now we are going to restart Apache etc Apache no uh, etc init d Apache restart now we are going to test if PHP correctly configured vi var ww html test php less than question mark php php info round brackets same column question mark greater than and we close that file shift set set now we are going to test php if it's correctly installed in the browser test.php and yes it works Opt get install my SQL server And now the root password of MySQL. Tap OK and repeat the root password. Tap OK. Apt get install lib apache2 minus mod minus auth minus mysql php5 minus mysql php my admin Okay, I make a typo. It's lip Apache. With the spacebar, uh, 
select Apache 2, tap OK. Yes to configure the database, the password for the database administrator user. OK, my SQL application password. OK, and confirm the password. OK. Now we will modify etc php5 Apache 2 php ini file. Now we search for extension equals and SQL dot shared object and we will remove the semicolon and the spaces before and write quit vi etc apache2 and http d dot conf file and we add server name space local host right quit and etc init d apache to restart now we go to the my sql prompt as the root user And the password of the root user. And create a database. And Drupal. Same column. Create user. And Jasper. Create a local host semicolon now we update my sql dot user set password equals password geheim that's my secret password where user equals Jasper Grant got a grant all privileges. Um, Drupal dot star to Jasper um, at the local host same column flush privileges. show grants for Jasper at local hosts semicolon and that looks good exit Now we are ready to download the Drupal software. We go to the browser and go to drupal.org. And we go to download and extend. Other releases, the latest one is now Drupal 7, but we are in the beta 6 release. 
we download that one and we save that that's done we copy from my home directory Jasper downloads and Drupal tar file to for www html and we change to that directory for www html now we untar that file extract z fibos file and we have untar that one we move the untar file drupal etc to the directory name jasper we change the ownership recursively to www minus data and www minus data to the Jasper directory and below. And we change to the directory etc Apache to sites available. And we copy the 00, zero default conf file to jasper.conf. And we modify that one via jasper.conf. Now I give each Drupal installation a unique port number, in this case 8001. And I add the server name to it. And that's Jasper. And the document root is www.html slash jasper and we write quit and a to n site jasper vi etc Apache to Apache to dot conf. We must modify this file to give the authority to Drupal to to what is it? Yeah. To for www directory and allow override to all and right quit this file and we must reload etc init.d apache2 reload reload Because of the fact that we give each Drupal installation a unique port, we must modify the etc apache2 ports conf file and we must add a listening port to 8001 in this case and right quit. A to N mod V host alias rewrite etc init D Apache two reload. Now we are ready to install Drupal. We go to the browser and localhost 
and the port number is 8001 in this case and we go to the core directory where's the install php and we run the installation and here is the Drupal installation wizard save and continue we go in English language we go for the standard installation profile and the database was Drupal that we created the name of the user is Jasper and the password we gave and the installation process is going Drupal 8 is now for all types of screens from mobile to desktop you can manage your uh, Drupal site from your smartphone that was not possible in the uh, older releases Drupal 8 has also now an WYSIWYG editor standard in the core theming is improved views are now also in the core of Drupal 8 the features are much more modern it has object oriented code the latest PHP standards and better markup with HTML5 and we are now ready for configuration the site name is Jasper the email address of the site and the username is Jasper the password and confirm the password and the site is in the Netherlands there he is and the time zone is Amsterdam and we can save and continue And here is the fresh installed Drupal 8 site. In the next tutorial I will show you more in depth of Drupal 8. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.